Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Seat is up on Speed Fight 4. One, two, fucking stupid. Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Speed Fight 4, 125 LC time. The seat is up. 10 mil, four bolts, little star shape, get the cover off, battery, disconnect a few bits, seat out. Then we can start looking at the bike. We are going to be today doing a plug change, an air filter check and change, an oil change. We're going to be checking the water, possibly draining it out, and a variator check as well and see what the rollers are like. 10,000 miles on the clock, everything needs to be done on this. Front caliper felt a bit hard, and we're going to see what that's like. Also, we've got a puncher that needs looking at, um, a few other little bits. Mirrors are going to come off today, we're going to clean them up because that, that's really, really poor for a three-year-old bike, but it's been left outside, to be honest with you. So we're going to get this bit and you can have a look. We're going to tie the exhaust up as well. That's rubbing it down and then using heat proof spray up to 660 degrees, 1200 Fahrenheit, whatever you want to look at. This is the stuff you buy when you clean the exhaust up and spray it. It protects it, stops it rusting and it doesn't look like a part of crap. <laughs> it's a bad tenner. Well, well worth it if you're gonna have a ped for a long time. For 10 pounds, cleans exhaust up and does stop it rusting and rotting away. But you've gotta clean it up first. Top tip, personally, that exhaust looks like it's off of a 50cc about 20 years ago. This is supposed to be the fourth generation after 20 years of yumminess. And, uh, and that's a bit crap. <laughs> It's just, yeah, yeah. if you watch my video, look at the specs and everything else about the 8 litre tank and 13 inch wheels and where to put the petrol and water. Um, I'm unimpressed with where the radiator is, but we're going to look at all that when we get round to it. So, let me get the seat out. Remember, there's four bolts here, two screws here, that comes out, battery undo, take it away. Then this just picks up, but you're going to have your little civet lighter, quickly show you. These are just 10 mil, two bolts here, screws, bolts, whatever you're going to call them. These are just really, really simple. But you do need this star-shaped screwdriver. I don't know why they still do it, because you need to get these out. You know, why I didn't just make them Phillips? Made it a lot, lot easier for anybody who wants to do anything to the bike. But I guess that's what it's about. Use the bucket for the right reasons, and there's your battery. And literally, take that off. And we're going to pick it out. I always say in all my videos, you know I do, take the battery out and charge it. Well, we've got to take the battery out anyway, so why not charge it? Put the actual screws back in the holes they were there for. He says nice and easy without dropping them anywhere. Oh, it doesn't want to go back in, does it? Here we go. Stop that touching. It doesn't really matter. Take the positive off. Plastic all around here, so you're not going to touch any metal. Don't want it sparking at all, do you? There's your battery. Now, when you do lift this out, feed the wires through here. Remember what I've said about here, okay? There's going to be just a little plug here. Just give it a pop and pull out. And there's your seat out. Look at that. Nice and simple. Battery will go on charge. Look at this, not a carburetor. So this is an injection system here. So there's not a lot you can really do with these. You can take it out and push it around if you want to, but I'm not gonna suggest you do that. And the plug's gonna be somewhere in here, just in the corner here. So we're gonna get the plug out and give it a change. And then just generally tidy up and have a look around. Injection systems are a great bits of kit don't need servicing like you have to with the carburetor. On the downside, a carburetor starts to fail, um, you can clean it and everything else. Injection system goes, it's just another injection system. There's plug and play systems, lots of money. There's not a lot you can do with them. That big ECU and you're on the top, you're gonna cost a lot of money. So we know it works, we're just gonna give it a good clean and sort out. As I said, here is your water for your reservoir tank two main fuses for the start and you've got your other little set of fuses and stuff just at the back here hmm. so far so good
oh my god, believe you, me, when I say that it's bloody hard to get your hand down here just to get the simple plug. Look at this. My hands are not the biggest. Okay, I have not got massive hands, but just to try and get the plug. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I got it. That, Jesus, was bloody hard. There's, there's no room with this in the way. I've tried moving that out of the way. They did not make these with any intention of you working on them. Believe you me, that's hard. I'm even getting the other little, that's, that's pretty shit, actually. That's been in there a very long time. 10,000 miles worth. It is an ordinary plug as well, it's not iridium. So, very, 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 very much needs changing. I've said this before in many of my videos. Do not underestimate the power of a plug or your crap pull away and the power of the variator rollers. Two essential things. This, this will just make it dream, you know. Oil change, well, we're going to have a look at that next. Remember, oil change couldn't be simpler. You just literally under 70 mil and take out the nut. Don't drop the nut in there. We're not talking gallons in here. We should be talking the usual, I don't know, 750 mil to maybe one litre. But again, it's a must. Trying to get any oil over the uh, carpet or wherever you are. That's pretty black as usual. You know, it's gonna go around there. I've just done a video on about oil, so give that one a watch as well. The usual oils, man oil, um, nice and simple. It's got all the SCA 10, whatever it is, but it's simple, 1040. Let it drain out, fill it back up again. Happy pet. <laughs> that's pretty, uh, yeah, that's pretty crap. Not a lot in there, if I'm honest with you. Now, if you watched my last video on the uh, Sinus 125 oil change one, it was an inch over the stick. You know, don't get 4T and 2T mixed up. 2T, you put it in because it mixes in with the petrol and goes in the engine. It's a 4T and it should be on the stick. Let's get the stick out and have a look on this one. Obviously, I know there's no... Oh, God. Oh, well, there you go. That wasn't easy. A pair of pliers needed just to get you going. I don't think this has ever been checked. But look, you see? But look, you know, empty, full. Just maximum. Say it, too much is really bad for your engine. So, too little and, you know, seizing, but too much is bad. Not up here, don't be silly, just to here. So I've just put a litre of oil back in there, literally a litre. And this is coming in at half a litre. Uh, and um, can you see that? No real bits. So, so common. Now, it is better than overfilling, but it wasn't running on much, was it? This was well, well in need of a service. So easy, here's your air filter. Took it all off, basically. Few little bits here. And these are your little dirty bits that we've got to clean. And um, there's oil here. Little filter. Tiny little bit of sponge, basically. And that all goes in here. And then we're just giving this a good old wipe out. This was deep in the country, so I reckon that it's just got Loads and loads of dust in there. It's not breathing correctly. Give it a good old blow out. Put it all back together again. Clean that. You might as well because end of the day you don't want any more dust going in there. You can see it's just dusty, isn't it? You know, we're going to pop that back on. That'll go nicely there. And that is job done. Nice new air filter that'll go in there and that'll breathe a lot, lot better. Really easy doing air filter. I did think about these little pipes here, but it sucks through and I've revved it up. So I've took a little pipe off there and given that little blow through as well. Uh, if you've got an air gun, by all means, blow through it. So when I took the bolts off the Speed Fight 3, there was two bolts going through here. When you take it off, you rig it left and right, turn it over, and then you realise you need some Allen keys to get the pads out. 
This is a different setup because this dual braking system it's got on here. So we're going to get it off first, have a look at the back, put it back on, undo and put it back on again. But you'll see what I'm trying to say. But this is this is just jammed on basically. Again, I, I, I can't tell whether this bike, I'm going to clean that while we're there. I can't tell whether this bike was just um, left for a year maybe, you know, sat outside and it's just all gone a bit crappy. Or whether it is running to the ground, I don't know. But these are pretty uh, jammed on. Um, best way to do it is just left and right it because there's four pads on this. Put your both feet there, push and pull and push and pull. There's no need to take off the back um, and drain the brake fluid out. There's just no need to do it. You know, you might lose brake fluid, well, the pain. I don't do that. I just get these off this way. Sometimes you do have to take the wheel off. I've had it on many other pegs, but not this one. So there's the um, brake caliper, nice and easy. Pads are okay. And there are your two Allen keys that hold them on. So it's a completely, completely different setup than the other Speed Fight 3. And I said the two bolts went in the back here and held it on that way. So I'm going to clean that up, I'm going to blow that over black. We are going to space these out a little bit. And I was saying these are four pot, and these are clearly not. Look, they're not at the back. Um, there's two there. So, wow, got that wrong. Um, isn't it weird? You know, Speed Fight 3, Speed Fight 4, for the exact the same, and it turned out not to be. So, hush my mouth. But yeah, definitely only two here. And the Speed Fight 3 seems well overcomplicated, having definitely four pots. Right, leave it with me. Let's undo these and show you in a second what I'm doing. Okay, not funny at all. There is actually three pots. One here, one here, and one back here. And that's fixed. So now you can see a nice gap between them. I've cleaned all up. This is a screwdriver here. Bloody hard to get hold of. And this is an Allen key. That side there. Bloody hard to undo. I had to put it back on, unscrew it, and then take it back off that way. And same as that one. You just couldn't get the screw in there to get it in there. However, all cleaned up. Nicely, still some good meat left on them pads. They're all pushed back, which is great. Don't think that they're going to be clean, okay? Because they never are. So get some brake cleaner, clean up the discs, okay? That's what we're going to do next. And then we're going to clean up the rest of this, spray it up, and then put it all back on again. But yeah, not as easy as I thought it was going to be with this chip all thing, but look at that. That will go on very, very nicely now. Won't bind. Push them all back on again, and we have a nice brake system. So just remember to clean everything up, spray what you need to spray. Two clips there. But yeah, that's job done. You forget the 125s, they seem to go really, really quickly. But it does get to 60 mile an hour, like it says, quite quickly, and then peters out. But it does a million miles to the gallon. Runs, looks good, happy days. Okay, now it needs some spitting polish. I'm actually really impressed with them lights. They are quite nice. Bit of spitting polish, I've got to sort this out. I don't know what to do with it. I've sort of um, just dabbed some paint on it for the time being, just to lessen the whiteness of it um, I don't want to spray it black um, I can't match the blue at present minute so I'll decide front brake good as gold now this will pass an MOT if it works on it didn't a minute ago but all in I am liking the LED lights need some fresh fuel indicators they beat as well indicators Horn. High beam, low beam, and the flash. So we're back. Brake light. Brake light. Indicator. Indicator. So all in. Not bad. <laughs> right. I will now wash this, polish it, have a look at the side out in the daylight, see what you think. Front brake. Felt a little bit spongy. Um, again, I just think this has been laid up for a while. Um, it does break, obviously, and it ain't going nowhere. Um, the dual braking does work well. Um, 
Yeah, no, it's not bad. They're a lot better than they were. Uh, I've got to sort this out though, look at that. Uh, they can fail the MOT on that, so I want to find out why that's moving. Uh, I think it might have been where he came off, because it came down that side, so that might have bent it round. Um, it's not too bad. Let's give it a good old clean and have a look. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. I'm out of here.